What's up guys, this is the Rover Pamaya and back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So the round of what's happened, we have been under siege from the Mughal forces for some time now. So what I've decided to do is to sally out and engage them on the field of battle. They do have mortars, they have plentiful infantry. However, I think I have a trick up my sleeve. So let's crack on. Uh, walls is that you can almost double your firepower and have a bunch of guys at the top with muskets and artillery uh, firing over the heads of your infantry at the base of the walls, so that, which is very powerful. Particularly is because it's the AI, they will advance. Um, they will still almost almost try to capture the city, having some chaps on the walls in a suitable position. So because it's deployed, as, well, I suppose we, I suppose we don't know where they're going to deploy. They're going to deploy over there, or over there. So, let's pick all my guys. I wonder if I just deploy outfield. I think I might just deploy outfield. Despite saying how much of a brilliant idea it is. Let's push your quick line range from inside the fort. Not bad. So let's put... So I'm, I'm convinced they're going to go there for some reason. Even though the map's a bit screwy. So let's do this. Let's put one gun facing that way, then I'll put one gun facing that way. Let's take these guys who are... I can always pivot the line if I need to, it's not the end of the world. Get these guys on the walls, manning some guns. Let's see with these guys, manning some guns. And let's do... Let's just group these guys to let me know where they're actually deployed. So let's do this. A bit more. Too far. There we go. So let's do that, and then probably... Two units of marines to anchor the line. Then grenades, grenadier marines this way. Maybe just one. The rationale is that I can effectively pivot my line to meet to meet the threat from whichever direction it comes from. So let's put my weakest unit up on the wall, and then group you with them. So you're deployed. I've still got. To go here. So my suspicion is they'll be over here. They'll be over there. In which case, this whole line will swing, swing around and hit them from the left. And let's see if I'm right. Eh, kind of. They are hitting the wall still with their artillery. Good. Quick climb's going off, but interestingly, as you, as you see, my guys are firing firing my guns at them. Oh god, my general's exposed. So let's pivot this infantry, because it looks like that's what they're going to do. You guys are not firing at the right people. Okay, let's pull you guys back because you're probably going to be getting a cavalry charge. But they are just a Zamandari horsemen and native lances, so pop into square formation, that'll be good enough for them. Let's manually target my howitzers. preemptively put these guys on in square because the infantry is coming here which I actually could probably do with some support on this front because these guys at least have these guys have a couple of a couple of layers of artillery to save them these dervishes so you guys make give make give put fire on them 
Probably. There you go, so they've managed to make water route on the flank. These levy are going to get the charge off, including onto my guns, so I may as well leave them there. Whichever flank is the strongest will pivot around onto the other flank. because they're going to be right there. No, they're routing, so straight into the Sikh warriors instead. The left flank's doing very well, because they've got so much artillery pounding them. All these guys in square, they'll be able to hold off all their cavalry. I'm just going to hit the top of my own position. Okay, let's turn them to shrapnel and hit that unit. Services have charged, the camels have charged here, but let's get them forming square as well. Let's probably get these guys up on. To be honest, I might want them there because they can man more guns. Then run these guys on the flank here. Good. Mass route. Let's get them to fire at the levee, because the levee coming back. Square on this flank. So here comes the dervishes. Seek warriors, actually. So they will get a Good charge into my square. But I don't want to pull them out, square, because there's too much other stuff. Oh no, we've decided to pull back, so target them with canister shot. Good, we blow, blew a few more holes in them. Dervishes, yep, so this unit could get taken out by dervishes. Ideally, I'd make the Kizilbashi ca Kizilbashi Kizilbashi cavalry. Okay, let's make you form a line because you're going to be engaging with some more infantry. Just engage them, I suppose. You get into a line. I know they're routing, so you join them. So to hit both hit the native lancers because nowhere seems particularly weak. Seek warriors are suffering from low morale. So now I'm going to deploy these guys in line because they feel strong enough. Ooh, they might kill some of their own men in their own cavalry charge. Form square with them. Let's bring my general back inside. All my artillery hit that unit of musketeers, it's quite strong. So I could lose two units of infantry here. Oh, that was a precision shot by the quick line. So the question is, is that, what you meant? To be honest, I know dervishes are okay, but I know Sikh warriors and Gurkhas are what you want, and they're better. Let's form line again. All my artillery is going to blast them with the shrapnel. Just to advance this square formation up. To run up to them, well, run up to their mortar, I suppose. These guys round shotting the general. Let's get 
quick climb to be in the general too. You guys carrying doing shrapnel shot on the general. They are killing more of the dervishes than they're killing of us, which is nice. They're brave, brave buggers though. Oh no. Poor Frenchman. There's plenty more where they came from. I'd be worried if I was you, India. Good. I was going to do a good job against the military. Against the um, general. Sure is. Artillery is the best thing to, sh to engage in with. Could use my. Could use my uh, marines or my grenadiers, but you know what? I don't want it. They're not even firing, even though my troops are well within range. So just keep on going. Three was a bit overkill, but I was anticipating. Um, I was anticipating a bit of a few casualties. Speed up time now because everyone on the field is actually running, except for this mortar team. But yeah, that goes to show how selling out from a from a fort can actually be better for you because you can just use some the additional firepower of the castle. just end it so thanks to that sally we've pushed it used to be their territory but let's not get into semantics now good 462 loss for 2286 maratha dead uh, moogle dead perfect and let's replenish our forces excellent yeah lots of good stuff for the general mentioning dispatching dispatches and common laborer Plus one commandment besieging, plus one morale in battles. Lovely stuff. Monsieur. You can't really move, but you're still replenishing. Probably going to want you. Yeah, you're just churning out more infantry. Good. Let's get you building a... So you're already a church school. Let's make you a trading port. Well, to be honest, I don't have a military dockyard here either. So let's give you a minute. Let's get start upgrading a shipyard. Let's get you some work. Let's get you guys employed. Let's see, the other thing on the docket is the assault of Bengal. But that's a hell of a lot of mortars. Let us assault. So I'll build as many of them as I can, and then run in and hit the mortars. Generally, my my overall trying to overwhelm the defences seems to work because eventually, somewhere, one of my units enters the fortress and is free to do damage against um, against enemy units. So the whole okay. So let's put. Really standard, almost less less worry actually because they can't really sally out. With ca well, they don't have any cavalry to start off with. Let's get my sipoys to secure the breach. Then let's use my more elite infantry and my uh, East India Company infantry. Maybe go a bit further around the back. So rather than hit the side here, go more this side. Not within range of quickline, but I could just drop round shot in there. Oh, it doesn't even matter if I miss. If I miss, it still kills them anyway. Oh, wow. Ooh, they've got one, one unit in range. Who are they targeting? My howitzer. Okay, right, so I need to... Oh no, my infantry. Start the assault quick, quicker than planned then.
I have deployed a bit keen with my artillery. Didn't target my artillery specifically against the walls. But still, it's very nice that if I overshoot and miss, it hits the centre. That is very nice. Oh, oh no, they're hitting them specifically. Because the, the corner of them is just within range. Absolute slaughter. Yep, the idea is that eventually one of these guys will be able to provide fire into the centre. I would have liked to have held off. I should have really, I should have maybe have pulled back. God, it's Republican Guard units get absolute pummeling. But one unit's gonna. Okay, here comes the quick line. This is where it's gonna hurt. Oh, I didn't even deploy one of my gun teams, so I'm not doing as much damage as I could be doing. So this is going to be a slog. Armed populaces aren't bad. But I want to put some units in here to kind of stop them from running across the wall and stopping me. I want to be able to move down here, and I want to be able to move down here as well. This could be this could be a hell of a mistake. Wow. You also climbed this section of the wall. You captured the gate. You go up one side. You go up the other side. These two get ready to follow you through. up my uh, these guys oh god this is helpful that if they as they get as they get within range the uh, the accuracy of the mortars is less when they blow a hole in this one they're gonna start work on this one immediately You might have to go there, actually. All my mortars, fire round shot, hit them. guys need to engage the armed populace even though it's going to be really buggy. Here come my sepoys. These guys are going to be in a position to fire on them as well. So one of you. Straight for that mortar team. One of you. Run straight for the command HQ. One of you. Run straight for the armory. Any help there. These guys are held in reserve, ready to plug the gap at the gate. The more or less I want these guys to form up and form them, stand up on the fire step and fire down into the centre. That's what I want. That's what these guys are going to be ready to do. Oh no, they're being assaulted up the wall. So engage them. These guys will have to stand on the fire step. Or are they going to be. They're going to run up too.
don't need that. Engage instead. Engage in melee combat. Same other guys in here firing into a combat. It's never a good idea. That was absolutely lovely to get all those kills. Yeah, this is where it could get a bit buggy because you've got all of these guys up here. They will eventually beat my Frenchman. And the game is freaking out. So these guys should be safe to fire because they are engaging like clear clear areas of Indian infantry. Just a sheer volume. This is the this is a concern, I won't lie. But actually I might keep my how it's firing, because if they destroy the section of the wall it'll kill more of them than me. So let's keep doing it. At worst, at worst we lose some men, but ultimately, as we said, more of them will die than us. Good, this armed populace is going to be surrounded. We're running in the gate, charging down the steps here. All of them are, are uh, wavering, but they won't rout. Probably. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to... Because this is just super uh, buggy for you guys, I'm going to cut the recording here, and I'll bring you guys back when um, either something happens or, or we win. Because right now, um, just a bit boring for you guys, because no one's really do anything because these guys aren't even kind of alright oh no it's got a bit bad water's still going at my general it's republican guard are routing that's true there wasn't actually that many of them Let's get committee you guys down into the fight. Because our sepoys are starting to run down. So let's knock out this mortar crew. Could really do with killing them. I'd run these guys over to. Now my mortars aren't helping in that fight. Kill them. Because right now they are trapping two of my units from coming in. So we need to get more infantry in the centre of the map. I need to start actually finishing units off. right now that's the, the best thing to do yeah so my my defense at the top of the wall is starting to fail finish him off finish him on populace let's run my I know, run, let's run these guys here to go head them off at the gate. So you hit them before they can get off, before they can go off the wall. Let's commit some more guys to here, because right now we are holding the gate. Let's put my general on it. 
put my general on it so I can commit my guys to actually joining in this melee. So you go there, you carry on fighting the armed populace. You hear them, you hear them. This random unit of artillery is still firing. Of men have died over this patch of ground. Can't even see the floor. It's just French, Indian, Republican Guard are actually getting. Well, they're doing. Well, they're killing lots of them. There's just too darn many of them. Just commit, just to hold them down for 20 more seconds. Oh, that's my guards unit. They finally routed. They're going to fire into the combat, but it does not matter. Oh, they're going to go capture the gate. But it is ours. The general has secured the centre. So it just goes to show, mortars can be effective, even with uh, blocks of rubber. <laughs> Um, yeah, I should have I should have played that differently. Should have stood off a bit and done a bit more damage. But hey, it was interesting for you guys, I think. So Calcutta is ours. Excellent, excellent foothold for expanding in the Indian continent. And I want to start expanding immediately. Well, as quickly as possible. Yeah, so I'll get a unit of Indian mercenaries ready to fill that gap, and then this army will come out and advance and begin engaging enemy forces. So let's repair this. We've opened up spices. We don't need two pleasure gardens. We don't need three pleasure gardens. Let's get rid of this. And get rid of this one. So I want to make one of these a religious building and another one of these a uh, industrial building. So start, we need to start getting some priests out here. That's what we need to do. Of course, that's gone rather well. So let's go to the Americas. Just a peace with Spain. For now... My armies are ready. Yeah, let's upgrade this port. Let's just do. Let's just. So I've got loads of money. So let's spend it on upgrading some of my ports. Well, it looks like I've lost them. Are being upgraded. Upgraded, upgraded. This is all secure, as secure as it can be. So upgrade, upgrade. Gold mine. Cause it gets to the point where when you've got this much money, you may as well just do at chunks, just do blank in investment period. You don't have to worry too much about targeting it and maximizing it because you've got so much income. And lots of these positions, general general income general income, general investment is just it's just so simple to do. I think it's worth doing. Farms, good. See, so this region is only ten grand. Uh, tax you. Yeah, you're gonna get. You're gonna lose religious. You're not. You're gonna get rid of religious unrest when I eventually build my. We're we building a school here, so it's not there. Not a school, religious uh, church. Well, I'm building a church here. Should be enough. Yeah, you're still replenishing, and you're still replenishing. Everything's good. Good. Um, you still recruiting an army? Sort of. So, let's get some native Indian cavalry and a general's bodyguard and a guard corps. Loads of howitzers, but I don't need that many, so move them out. Let's just do that. Good. And a general. Oh, six pounder. Let's get ooh, eighteen pounder guard artillery, and then let's get some Maison de Roy and a support unit. Yeah, <laughs> let's 
guy's got a bloody upgrade, which isn't great. Minus one morale. That's what happens when you lead mighty sieges. Your infrastructure's good. Cool, let's hit end turn. Oh, yeah, you're going on to hit Ufa. Capture. Good, good, good. Our priests are on the move. It's a good Catholic word. When we've broken the back of the Mughals, then we can turn our attention onto the Spanish to start to kick in the last, let the latter um, campaign goals. Because right now we're on our we're on our way to securing the Indian goals, the American ones, a Spanish held, the rest of the remaining European ones, a Spanish held. So I just need, so I just need to be ready. Just be ready. But ultimately, I think we're on a really good, really we're on a really good uh, roll in the minute with the uh, the Indians. And I'm feeling more confident about Moscow security now, so I may turn that army around and send them back to go hit Kiev. I mean, it, it does expand our border with the. Austrians, but it's another major city. Uh, it's, just, it's just another major city to take off of the Russians, which has to be a good thing. I mean, the reason why I'm concerned about the Austrians is because I just, at the, at the toss of a hat, toss of a coin, sorry, they will spin around and declare on me, which is duper lame. Enemy on Ooh, bridge battle! Oh, you poor, poor... Well, I think it'd be a bridge battle. It should be. Come on, Gaspar de Clermont d'Anaire. Let's fight. So I'm definitely going to want to put it to cover the bridge and my artillery. Some to cover the, the fording area, but fire across to do some counter-battery. Because you never want to lose sight of that. Oh no, it's just a regular old battle. Thought it might be a thought it might be a bridge battle. Either way, that changes things just a little bit. Terrain is abysmal for my artillery, so I'm going to sit. Do need to deploy rearward a bit, just so I can get on reverse slope. Because ultimately, that's all way too hilly for me to use my artillery. And what's the point of me investing in it if I'm not going to use it? Perfect. Let's get a solid core of regular line infantry. That's a bit of a funky deployment, actually. Okay, that's too much line, so let's just pick four for now. Eh, four ranks deep, so I'm not maximizing firepower, but I'm giving myself a bit of resiliency. Oh, let's have a look at these uh, Swiss Guard or uh, Guard Suisse. Well, they look pretty good. Sweet. Royal Guard and Marine unit and the Militia unit. Guard the flank with my Hessian Jaegers. You park up by that house. Group you together. Marine, it's Marines, and you guys. Marines and my uh, militia, militia inboard, which isn't ideal. I can manage. Deploy my guard Swiss. To be honest, I might deploy my guard Swiss in front of both my lines of guns. So let's turn off, fire at will, because I worry so much about uh, protecting them from cavalry. Fifth, what's awesome, looking? Gendarmerie de France. Steady boy. Good. That's pretty darn badass. Let's just pick up two its cav, drop them in the woods. Turn firewall off. Get this other unit. Drop them in the trees behind the guns. Firewall off. General center ish. Sweet. Oh no. 
Run! The little Howard said it could. Oh, God, I got just way too carried away. Let's expose my cavalry already. Because they got the Cossack cavalry coming on the left. Let's pull them back behind the guns and I'll figure out what to do with them later. But importantly, fire at will. Shrapnel. Fire at will. Shrapnel. Yeah, he's going to be fine. Good, they're running up. So this flank, I'm definitely going to want my Hessian Jaegers on the flank doing some support. The other flank's a bit more flexible. Let's turn fire well off, but I'm going to shoot them in the back. move up this cavalry and start doing some exploring because the Don Cossacks have gone all the way back. Start to retarget. Yeah, retarget my, my artillery because it's starting to get a bit close. Closer at least. It goes wide around this hill. Let's get a bit rearward. Good, and we've started to engage the enemy. So this cavalry unit. Close range. Shrapnel shot. Blast him. Spin my flank. Go hit the 24 pounders. Let's engage before they, before they hit my guns. Let's hold fire with them. Turn that flank, that'd be great. Ah. The cavalry have been set as ours, but they are just dragoons. And we are smashing them. Engage the Dragoon unit. Let's get you unlimbered. Limber them up. Yep, the Marines are okay. Just run, just flee. Nail my cavalry into the center. Finish the gun team off. 
you engage the square, you get involved in the combat. How oh, it's a quick line. Start getting some of these guys. Smashing this unit of conscripts. Ideas. You artillery hit the square. I need to be sure all my cavalry is running and doing stuff. Right now, it's my top resource. to run over here. to do. We've killed their general, which is a good thing. Stop doing that. <laughs> do might be to set up a new line. If you want to just not kill my house, that's fine, I'll do I'll let I'm letting them not kill me. These guys can run and join this new line. Guards, chop up the shooting of Marines. Cavalry unit, this would be very nice if I could knock them out. Chase off the grenadiers. Run my militia out, keep my cavalry together, keep chopping them up.
this unit of marines is going to be the dangerous bit. So let's get the cavalry up here and spank them because my infantry here should be enough, well will be enough to finish them. I've got this in a bloody battle. Something shot from all directions. Unlimber. out of the way, but I, I want to see how well they do over these spikes, because they could just die. It's a terrible position for you to be in. So it's... Guards back, get my weak units start. So I want to keep them away. Cavalry, right? They're not doing anything. So you chase on it there. Oof. Hold fire, hold fire. So deploy then, chase them down. Absolutely continue. I need to take advantage of this, considering how much of a bloodbath it was. When you're up there, but these go. Oh, they're still chasing them down. These are the guys that have that can do so much for me. Ooh, go go get them. Knock out that regiment of foot unit entirely. Slightly better place to try and finish off. You're not going to do it, but worth a try. Oh, no. Nice thing to run away from the from the action. It's very very sporting old. Smashing. So they're all down. So all my cavalry. It's not my general. Um, nail it over here. So it's these two I can send to just charge because they're not going to run over any of my own men. And this guard unit is going to go straight in now because they're around them too. Don't need to worry so much about diamond formation. And there we go. Well, I mean, I say annihilated, yeesh. This was a, yeah, close victory sums that up. There was a minute there where a row, again, again not in my favour, that that could have been the end of it. Fortunately, I had some kick-ass cavalry. So similar to, like, the uh, assault on uh, two to one-ish. It's not terrible. Um, but I will want them to hunker down and defend themselves now. But yeah, I'm a bit more secure in my in my position in Moscow, I think. So let's see what the Swedes do. Yeah, I'm tempted to wait with the Swedes because I don't really think it's I don't really want to go too 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 Oh no oh, withdraw. Doesn't matter, they're gonna die. I completely forgot about them. Oh, poor, poor devils. Uh, one of those things always happens to me, so eventually, I always do it, so eventually it was always gonna happen. Poor, poor devils. 
Uh, let's all say that. Yeah, my souls are one to be careful of. Could stab me in the back, but I want them to be allies. There is a port in this region in that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. Let's get to Copacy again. Port will help your population. Good church school. Industry. Upgrade. Upgrade. Army. Pretty well replenished. Move oh, out. Children. Good. General's bodyguards. Get some Indian lances and a unit of heavy. Heavy French cavalry. Get some 12 pounders. Get some howitzers. And get a unit of Indian infantry mercenaries. Good stuff. Votre Majesty. So I don't want to move them. Oui, monsieur. Okay, I'm not quite sure what you were for, but. I mean, I think I've got to run you away. I mean, I think. I think I've got to do this with you. Because you can't. These guys can't run out. Newtown emerges in Savoy. Or this region. Oh, I forgot about. Ufa. Fixed Ufa. And I'm repairing you. And then it is on down to this region. Yeah, let's invest in the Russian economy. Let's make the Russian people want to be part of the French Empire. Sounds like a good idea to me. Oui, monsieur. So these militia chaps just attack him. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not surprised actually. They were fairly weak. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? There you go. Let's recruit a new garrison army there. New town emerges in Brandenburg. Any raid. Oh, these are all in Russia. Yeah, let them raid away. Then you get on that bridge, because you're going to need it. And probably get two units of artillery. Ooh. Let's get that, because they're coming from Moscow. Good. And let's take this army that's currently being a cheeky little scamp down here. And do I go retake Crimea? Yeah, let's go retake Crimea. Let's secure our rear lines of supply again. Enemy, 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 fleet destroyed, sad face, workers on strike in Karnataka, they're okay now. Construction report. Good shipyard. Oh, I'm building, that means I'm building two shipyards. Let's cancel that and let's make you a trade port then. Lots of global trading companies, weavers. Uh, this one is the one I was looking at. And Jesuit College in Moscow. <coughs> Sorry guys, that sneeze uh, arrived too quickly for me to actually stop it. Okie uh, dokie. Good, and you're still ready to be you. Sweet. Let's see, see, see Lans recruiting their next force. Ooh, let's put you, Sebastien Delon, out. There you go. A good chunk of Sepoys, because we're in India. It makes sense you'd have Indian troops. Or in the Indian theatre, anyway. Let's see you. Advance on to Hyderabad. Maintain siege. You go here, ready, in case they run out. And then they just keep rolling on the expansion of the French Empire. So let's go to Mysore. Very friendly. Let's trade. Lovely. I see no reason for us to have any problems. Louisiana's hostile. Let's trade. You little swines. Um, anyway, look at the timer. I have massively overran. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these guys 
uh, over to here, ready to uh, shift them to the Indian theatre to take, make up the trade, make up the army that I just lost. And let's put them in, put them inside Christiana. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've definitely overrun. There's almost two parts worth. But right now I'm recording um, episodes to cover me while I'm away on business travel. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued expansion of the French Empire. Thank you.